What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Del from Mickey Quill. Hello. With a little guest today. Little guest. A little guest. <laughs> I've talked, not the littlest guest, but a little <laughs> guest. Um, I'm doing a Grab 5 challenge today, and Ooh. Aaron's joining in on the voiceover. Grab now, five. you have seen these items before. These are the same five items that I used for the Meeting Great Nana layout, which I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, so if you want to have a look at that, make sure you check it out. This is the second layout that I did using these same items. So I've got some wood buttons, some from Chamel, some puffy stickers from uh, Pink Paisley, I think, Studio Calico cork shapes, some washi tape and some Posca paint pens. Excellent. Five things. So if you haven't heard of Grab Five, it's a challenge that I made up for myself just to try and use my stash. You grab five things from your stash and you try and use them all on a layout. Now, I did something quite radical. I actually used washi tape. Oh, goodness. I know. It's unheard of. <laughs> Most people just collect it. Really? I know really going off the beaten track i know you're out there i know there's lots of others that also buy washi tape with the intention of using it and then it never gets how many used. rolls of washi tape do you think you have oh a lot like in total oh i'd say upwards of 60 how many have you used no it'd be more than that just thinking about 80 two <laughs> I've used up two rolls of washi and they weren't even for using. They were like my spare washies that I just used to stuck, As stick tape, down stuff. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> basically tape. So I decided to take the colours from my Nan's oh, um, outfits cool. and I went washi mad. And I just spaced out the patterns, kind of spaced out the colours a little bit. And it was so freaking fun. Definitely going it to do It looks really cool again. as well. Like it gives this mad... It's like making like, your own pattern paper. Yeah. Yeah. But it also gives you a really cool texture as well. Plus, this layout took me about 12 minutes in total <laughs> to create. So, very quick. If you're looking for a nice quick layout, scrap lift this one because it was, it was very easy to do. Like a washi tape stuck everywhere. <laughs> so, that uh, probably made me use about one foot of washi tape. <laughs> Only 50 million feet of washi tape to go. So, of course, I wanted to um, add some of my gorgeous spotty tissue paper. I think this one, I'm pretty sure this is the tissue paper that my Reset Girl um, kits come wrapped in. And by the looks of it, I'm making a bit of a ruffle. So this is my new favourite thing. I do a strip of tape. So what's a ruffle? I make a ruffle with tissue paper. So you put a strip of tape down and then you concertina oh, fold. Oh, right. That's cool. Yeah, it gives it a lot of texture. But look at this. I'm pretty sure I was just short, was I? <laughs> was it this layout? Or there was another layout that I did just before and I was like an inch short. Yeah, it's this one. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yes, I had to cut another tiny piece of tissue paper, which was frustrating. <laughs> um, but I'm doing a multiple photo layout today, and it's I know a bit different for you. Isn't I know it? there's a lot of people out there that don't like the single photos, so I try to cater to everyone. It's very difficult to cater to everyone in their scrappy <laughs> needs. I will not make green layouts, but <laughs> I shall not I, have I green eggs and not, ham. I shall not, but I will try multiple photo layouts. I, I like them. Um, I just often use my pocket pages to show my multiple photos rather yeah, than a, a layout. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Getting glue everywhere. So these are photos from my mum's birthday this year and when Archie met my nana. And I just liked the... Look how many he oh, He's was. so many. <laughs> he's so big now. So he's six months now <laughs> and he weighs a ton. He's a big goofball. Uh, he's currently asleep, which is why we can film this, uh, record this voiceover. <laughs> Had to add some without little... him butting in. Yes, at least. yeah. I recorded a voiceover today where he did butt in a lot for Patreon, <laughs> and he found his ball with the bell in it. Oh dear. Yep, and uh, a lot of the video has a ringing bell. <laughs> <laughs> it's just little background music. It is. It's just like a tranquil little bell in the background. Um, so I'm just adding a few bits and pieces. Those and... Um, button things are cool. Yes, I, I really like them, but I have an issue with them. Uh -oh. My issue is that they come with foam adhesive on the back, but the foam adhesive is so thick that by the time you put the button on your layout, it's like 50 oh, feet in the air. Right. <laughs> 
it's very very thick so yeah. i usually pull off the um adhesive and just and just glue it put glue or something yes. yeah right okay yeah. So I decided to call this one Four Generations, hence why we are four generations. <laughs> and um, I'm using some older thickers from my stash and I don't really like them. So like I did the other layout, I think I do color them in. I have a feeling I do. So I just did Generations oh, in Scripty that's font. Cool. I thought you were gonna do the things, but yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I color in the four. Yep, there I oh, did. Okay. I colored the four in and I think I put some glossy accents glue on the top of it um, just to give it a bit of a glossy accent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it when products are called why they're called that words? Not working. Um, <laughs> it's late at night, peeps. We have to squeeze in all of our normal, like, human activities after <laughs> Archie goes to bed. We've just done the washing and the cleaning and I mop the floors and now it's time for work. Um, and then I outlined my the generations part just because yeah. it was blending in a bit. Oh, no, I haven't done the glossy accents yet. Oh, Here there it you is go. now. Here it is. Glossy accents is a glue. Um it's the issue I have with it as a glue is that if it spills over the sides, it's glossy, so you can see it. Oh, so and it accentuates the fact does, that you went over the side. It does. So I kind of prefer to use it as a topper. I also like to use it on wood veneer. Oh, yeah, that's pretty yes. cool. So this layout's nice. all done. Let me know in the comments. It was a quick one. It was a quick one. Yeah, right. you, you got in for a quick one <laughs> got in on a good one <laughs> yes instead of the the 15 minute one that i'm about to do by myself um thanks for watching let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more aaron in voiceovers and actually hear him talk in a longer video <laughs> and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up a if thumbs you liked up. it and i'll see you next time bye, bye.